Well, hello. Guys, it is winding down on the growing season, so we are getting the last of the pepper boxes, which I got two in today, one from Linda's Fiery Treats. Fantastic selection. Sit a ton like she did last time. So we are going to get through every one of them I can this time, but we're not going to slack. The other one, also really excited. I'm doing a couple today. Going to release those videos over the this weekend as I uh, as I can chew through them. Um, we got Mike's uh, Mike's Peppers. I uh, his store on Etsy is fantastic. That's where I got his one of the last two. Um, man, it'd be great if I thought about this at all before I really recorded this. Here we go. Uh, small flower hay boxes. Oh my god, I'm great. Guys, it's been a long, long week. Um, so I think the first one we're going to do is one I've always seen and just haven't had a chance to try because I haven't gotten one. But we have a lovely specimen of the White Knight. And not the one you see on YouTube. Here we go. All right. Um, you know what? I'll use my Dow Strong. Mm. Look at that bad boy. Hamon. Mmm. There we go. Yeah, my other one's over in the uh, sink. So I gotta wash that. All right. I'm not gonna be like somebody and try and get it perfectly down the center because I didn't. All right. So this is a really, really nice pot on the inside. It's Chinensi. With a pepper smell, so that's hopeful. All right, before you know, what, I'll show you the I'll show you the more full one. It's got a lot of ridges and stuff. If I can get it over here, lovely coloration. That white pops, but it is that nice yellowed white kind of a, I guess aged ivory would be that. The other side has quite a bit of seeds, so keeping them just real quick. Let me get what I can out of here. I didn't wear gloves because, you know, I don't plan ahead, as we've seen. If you heard me talking, dear God, I think that was special. Here we go. Sorry, I've got music on in the background. My bad, guys. Come on. Screw it. What I get is what I get. Out of this side. Come on. Can you guys help Hunter not touch his face? Remember, if he almost does, shout no. Annoy your parents. Okay, so... I will chomp this side while I get this side prepped. This one's the one with all of the rest of the placenta. So here we go, hollowed out, delicious. All right, my little sweet, mmm. It's a fruity floral, it's really strange. It's not horrendous, but it hits you. It hits you as a lot, all at once. I mean, it's not bad. Hmm. It is a strange flavor combination. It's like a bright floral. It's it's not really hot either. Um. Very fruity, I guess. I think this one would be really interesting as a powder. Yeah, it's just hot. It's not it's not like a super hot or a very hot, it's just hot. Alright, now that my mouth is primed and I've almost got all these seeds out. Just getting the last of them. Mm. 
What's y'all's favorite? What's y'all's favorite plants y'all have grown? Or peppers that y'all tasted? Have y'all tried any new ones? I've had so many good ones. Um, I mean, really. What was it? That Lemon Reaper from Matt's was stellar. Um, and then Badged Bacon sent out. Oh, God. What was that cross? Man, that was good. I need to go find, I need to get the seeds, I need to find the seeds I have for that again, because I want to grow that one bad. Anyway, here we go, bottoms up. Oh. oh man, I'm almost actually getting huge. I'm weird, I like to chew the seeds open. It's kind of like an annual bird, um, I guess. It's concentrated around the tongue, like a, uh, like a jalapeno and a cayenne, kind of that blankety heat. It's a, <clears throat> it's a smidge sharper. Excuse me. I am just, oh, so much spit. Hmm. And when I say I got a ton of peppers from both of them, I got a ton of peppers. Mike, uh, Mike sent out a few, a few uh, multiples of a few peppers. Um, list of 17 in all and then there are some that just aren't labeled so i'm really excited about them uh linda's oh god that thing is stuffed and a lot of chocolate pods so i'm really excited and some really cool mustards i think there's a, pot, a golden podzilla um a seven pot mustard i think there's a primo mustard i don't know i'll have to go over what i have i'll have to put it all together and see what i've got um, but I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are excited. We'll be putting out more videos and, uh, hopefully you'll get to see me suffer on some of them. There are a couple of Reaper ones that look brutal. And I think there's a Prima Tali in there. Might be a Chaka Prima Tali too. My mouth is sweating. And it's peaked. It's just, uh, kind of morphed into a sharp blanket heat. It's fine. Kind of in my gums, which again, I don't mind. <clears throat> Makes swallowing difficult. It's really thick spit. I know you wanted that detail. Hmm. Overall, not an unpleasant pepper. It's interesting. I feel like it would go good with apricot or white peach. Like, kind of pair white with white, which I've always heard. Kind of dragon breathy. It's not my throat hardly at all. Tongue just like, it's more of a, hmm. It's just a hurt. Like you both landed on and skidded on your knee. Uh, pardon. That's going to be interesting later. Kind of cruises at the same heat level for a while. So, I think I've got the worst of it. That was pretty good. Okay, so that was the White Knight from Mike's Peppers. Um, he's going to have some seeds. Most likely coming up. Probably already has some right now. 
So if you're looking to stock up right now and get uh, winter grows going in like air gardens in your tents like I'm doing, I would go check his store out. He's got some really cool stuff. Lots of veg vegetation, vegetables, flowers, a uh, whole lot of stuff. <clears throat> uh, quite a good, dang, quite a good pepper selection. Boy, this is really making my mouth just full of spit. Mm. But yeah, go check out Mike's Peppers. I think it might be Mike's Pepper Shop on Etsy. So check it out, guys.